Hey YouTube, this is Jibba Bay, Jibba Bay, and today I will show you another um, fix on um, why your Siri proxy might not be working. So one, uh, the issue is, is that you have your iPhone on, you're on Wi-Fi, you're connected to the right, uh, your IP addresses in the DNS settings, and it still just stays at uh, starting Siri proxy at port 443 on Ubuntu. And if... I'll show you um, an option, and if that's not right, a setting, then this could actually fix it. So you want to look at the IP address under Settings, just by going to Settings, System Settings, Networks over here. Um, and then you want to look at the IP address. Then you want to go on your iPhone 4S and look at, or your iPhone, and look at your IP, uh, your uh, Wi-Fi settings, and look at the DNS settings. If that DNS settings does not match your IP address settings, then this could actually fix your issue. To um, just make sure that you just didn't mistype it in your iPhone, go to terminal and type sudo space v vi space slash etc slash dns masq dot conf. Click enter. Enter your password and just click enter. Then type slash address equals enter. And then you want to look. Sorry, don't mind this. That's just something else. So then you want to look at the address equals slash double dash. Oh, sorry, at the address equals slash kazoni.apple.com. That IP address right there. That is the IP address that you want to be in the settings here. In this case, it's the same, but every couple days your IP address actually gets refreshed. Like I, every couple days, I actually have to uh, fix this issue to get it working again. To fix this is really simple. All you have to do is just click configure. Yeah. So since you're right here, just double check that on your iPhone 4s that the DNS is set to this right here. That's important. Okay, and now to fix this, just go to configure. Go to wireless. Sorry. Why, sorry, it's called wired. And then the IPv4 settings. And then you see all this here. You're gonna, it's gonna actually be set to automatic. So like automatic that's why um mine's on manual because that's how you fix it so you're going to want to go to manual you're going to want to click add and just move the box let me close this i have two open you want to move the box so you could actually see um these options right here that's important okay so you're going to go to wired ipv4 and then click manual then you click add. Well, sorry, we're gonna want to edit this. Well, you have to add one. I just have to edit mine because I already added it. And then you want to get all the settings. Um, so you want to make sure that the subnet mask. Let me delete this. You want the subnet mask to be two five five point two five five point two five five point zero. The gateway is your router, so it's gonna say default root. That's gonna be your gateway. And then let's see if there's any other options. That's it. You're going to literally have to just uh, put your gateway, net mask, and address. You want the address to be the address that is in here. So in this case, 192.168.1.13. That's also the DNS at, on my iPhone. So I'm going to type 192.168. Point one point one three, but in this case, I'm just gonna show you um an another number. Let's say point one zero, and then I'm gonna. You can also want to add a DNS. You could just do actually your router or eight point eight point eight point eight. That's Google's. That's like really fast. So you're just gonna do that, and then enter it. Search the means. You don't need uh, 
I don't want to even save it. I think I want to save it. Close it. Then turn Wi-Fi off. Turn Wi-Fi on. And then you should have the new settings. It's just my computer doesn't want me to save it right now. But it should always have the option to save. Yeah, see, now there is. So, say that I were to change it to 1.1, let's say. I click save. You turn airplane on uh, mode on and off. Should change my IP address to 1.1. As you can see, it was just 1.3. Uh, and that should fix it. So it was every day, like you turn it on, you always you could uh, randomly get a new IP address. They refresh just for whatever reason. I was once 1.17, 1.13, 1.11. It changes a lot. So just make sure it's like that. And then also, it's really simple. So once you do it on manual once, so the only time that you're going to have to re-enter uh, the th settings is just the first time. Was after you're on manual, it's going to stay in manual, not automatic. And then you'll, to change it, you just got to just change it back with the one number or whatever and click save. And just make sure you have the DNS here. That's also really nice to have down. Click save. Turn airplane mode on and off. And that should fix your issue. See how it just changed again? I hope you enjoy this, guys. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. This is Jibba Bay, Jibba Bay. And remember, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me. If there's any other uh, things why I won't start and I have a, and I resolved it, I'll put another video up helping everyone else out. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe.